Hi scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in horse riding teals. Uh, so I want to talk about this that Foxy Ventures posted on their Instagram. So hey Foxies, uh, here's a special preview of our adoptable animals which are coming soon to horse riding teals. We have different variations of rabbits, wolves, big cats and bears. Uh, these are examples of the adult versions but we'll have baby versions of each animal too. So which animal would you adopt? So you can let me know down in the comments which one out of these would you adopt. I know that um, we did see the big cats previously and a spoiler that they released on their Instagram in one of the videos where they're showing the new area they're going to release. I think the rabbit's really cute. We've also got the wolf. I'm hoping we maybe get the wolf, in a grey wolf, um, or possibly a black and white wolf as well. Um, this wouldn't be my favourite colour variation, personally, just for me, but I really would love to see a grey wolf because I think that would be really, really cool um, out of those ones. And I'm sort of wondering will we get any mythical coloured ones, kind of like we saw with the big cats, there's one that wasn't necessarily the most realistic looking one. We've also got a white and black tiger. I'm wondering will we get a red, but I love this. I think this is really, really cool. I think it would be slightly terrifying running beside people's horses if it's quite large, though, but can you imagine? like the baby versions of these they're gonna be so cute so yeah i'm really curious to see what that is gonna be like because um, i love tiger cubs i think they're so adorable so then we've also got the bear this is probably my least favorite out of them but i'm thinking a bear cub would look really really cute i'm also thinking just how large the bear would be <laughs> i don't know if it'll be larger than some of the horses um so yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if we get a polar bear because i think polar bears are really awesome so i'm um, curious to see what variations we're going to get, if we're going to get any mythical coloured ones, um, because obviously with this game you don't necessarily always have realistic colours because there's a lot of fantasy elements to the game, so they could be nearly anything at all, they wouldn't necessarily have to be realistic colours. Uh, I think out of all of three of them, my favourites would probably be the rabbit, the wolf and the tiger. I don't know which order I put them in, I guess I'll have to wait and see what the baby versions of them look like, and uh, see if I have any particular preferences with them. So at the minute I'm just trying to get Lavender to level 80 because this dressage has been proving I think pretty difficult so far um, because there's been a bunch of times that we've done dressage and we've not managed to get past. Um, so at the minute I feel like more uh, stamina on Lavender is better, you know, definitely right now. We do not want to be going in to do any of these competitions. I don't know stamina uh, with lavender, but yeah, no, I, I really am looking forward to seeing these pets. I am a bit worried though because I don't have a lot of black pearls. I have none. <laughs> I haven't managed to get any from the social quests. Every social quest that I've been a part of and um, got the enough um, donated to whatever particular objective it was, I never, you know, the whole community never finishes the objective. I know a couple of you guys have said that you have been there when a community objective has been, but unfortunately have not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try doing this uh, dressage. So hopefully we've given her enough stamina now. I'm literally guessing with this because we've just come up a couple of times against dressage and really, really struggled. Um, I'm finding that I seem to get a better score. If I keep this dart on the target board for as long as possible, I get a better score. Um, because I've kind of been testing it a little bit, um, sometimes like potentially like kind of leaving it for a while and not getting it to the board just to see what happens, but um, you know, because I think like where I kind of worked out with the show jumping, if I kind of maybe hit a fence or two, it wasn't really the end of the world, it wouldn't let me get three stars, but it would let me at least maybe get through with a little less stamina, whereas with the dressage, it seems to be a little bit more tricky in that regard. I haven't really had that much luck with it, but now if we can get through this part of it, maybe we'll get back to show jumping after we do this part two of the Rainbow Man. Really looking forward to level 25. I know we're still two levels off, but fantasy horses, you know, we have that to look forward to. <laughs> um, so, and a new area as well once we get to level 25. Obviously haven't done it yet. Um, we are slowly getting there. Um, I have managed to save list basically like no apples because I don't use my apples on lavender. So I think when I get to level 25 and if I finally capture a fantasy horse, I think the first thing I'm going to have to do is absolutely go back and do redo competitions and mine like crazy because at the minute I'm kind of getting a little bit low on gold because some of these competitions are kind of expensive. You know, they haven't been the cheapest ones. The dressage, I feel like, is some of the most expensive competitions, and they're very easily failed as well. 
because there's been a couple of times where I've been like, oh, can we do this? Like, just now. We don't have enough stamina. I'm, I'm going to click continue. I'm, I'm not going to do this again. <laughs> It's way too expensive. Uh, the gems that I have are from the daily logins because somebody was asking like how do you get gems. Well, obviously you can buy them, um, but you also, if you log in every single day, I think you get them on the 7th day that you log in consecutively and the same on the 14th as far as I remember and then it resets. Um, so I got some gems from that so that's what I used those for. Okay, give us a star. Okay, we got one. I was getting a wee bit worried there. Okay, that was close. Felt like if that didn't go too well, it would be bad. Right, we'll have to put uh, Lavender back in here because I want her to get her some of her stamina back. She doesn't need to wait that long though, to be fair, because because we use the gems, her stamina bar is nearly full again because we need to finish that last movement. But at least if we can get her a couple of levels higher with these apples, maybe it'll make it a little bit easier because we can't go in and do that dressage again at level 80. It's just, I don't think it's going to work. We need more stamina on her before we can do that. So I feel like doing that particular competition at level 80 was not ideal. There really wasn't maybe enough stamina. Or maybe I just messed up. Could be a bit of both. Um, so we'll just get her level 81 here with these apples. Okay, so a little bit extra energy. That might just be enough to bring her over, but I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the apples anyway. But um, yeah, no, I feel like the thing that I'm least confident about in this is the dressage. Dressage is the tricky bit when it comes to just, if you're short in stamina with dressage, there's really nowhere to go, I find. Maybe one of you guys has some tips with the dressage. Feel free to share them below because they will help me and they will help other people. But um, yeah, unlike the show jumping, I don't feel as confident with this. All right, come on, we can get level 82, okay? That makes me feel a little bit better. And we've got a couple of apples left, but we'll not worry about those, I think, for now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and craft a pink blanket with hearts. So this will increase the stamina regen on Lavender once I put that on her. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I've been using apples to get her up to level 85. I've been struggling to finish these dressage competitions. Um, so I was like, I need to level her up. So I've used a lot of apples on her so far. Okay, so we're going to go ahead here and do the last one of these competitions. Now, I am going to go and use the rest of my gems because as you can see, Lavender actually hasn't finished regenerating. But I'm going to use the rest of the gems that I've got from free daily logins. I keep meaning to save these up and buy some nice, like, cosmetics, but I never do. Um, so, this particular dressage competition has been quite difficult. I failed the second one of the four multiple times. So, that's kind of eaten into my gold because these are expensive competitions. Um, doesn't seem much leeway, so I'm trying to be a lot more, you know, getting on the dartboard, staying on the dartboard as much as possible with this, because I just, I mucked up one too many times, because I was trying to sort of half test it again to see where I could kind of get away with not using energy and where I really needed to use it, but it didn't seem to work in my favour, so we're just going to stick to trying to do this now, and I'm pretty confident that we have just enough stamina to do this. Um, the PF always seems to use like a lot. Yeah, the PF always uses a lot. Alright, hopefully Lavender doesn't do anything. Also, I don't know why my hair I know my hair has changed colour. I don't know, I logged in and it was like this and I was just like, okay, we'll just we'll just stick with that. <laughs> Cause I don't think I changed it. Not that I remember doing. I may have to change it back at some point. Right, we might be okay. I'm really hoping I don't wanna feel this because we failed the second competition multiple times. Okay, we're good. We've done it. <laughs> Good job, Lavender. Level 85, just about, seems to be enough for this. Okay, so we got some apples from that. You know more than you're telling. She probably does, to be fair. I'm the head of one of the country's most prestigious horse riding academies, with a long and illustrious history. A school that can trace its lineage back through the ages. You're right to think I know a lot more than you do, yes. So are you going to tell us any of it? So why would you answer my questions? You're a teacher after all. Ah, good. You're learning. All students ask questions, but the best ones ask the right questions, even if the teacher doesn't answer them. Well, that was vague. <laughs> so complete, uh, okay, so complete and rainbow meeting question part three. I really hope this isn't more dressage. 
Yes, it's not. Okay, it's just a horse show. Right, that's fine. So that's show jumping. We can do that. Show jumping's fine. And it's like slightly cheaper as well. So now we'll have to work on uh, doing the Rainbow Man Part 3 then in that case. Right, we're going to throw the rest of these apples on Lavender here. I don't think I'm going to get her to level 86. But I'd like to have a little bit of a, a you know, a slight increased level before we go to do the Rainbow Man Part 3. Because otherwise I think we could end up absolutely messing up. Okay, we need 27 more apples to finish her. We're not going to worry about that. I'm going to give uh, Fire Lily here a bit of a clean up and then we'll take her out. Um, all right, I'm just going to get some basic. I'm not going to worry about getting any particular saddle. I just want something that kind of matches. I'll do, I think. All right, you can have a wash as well. Probably should have washed you before I put your tack on, but it's fine. It doesn't matter in this. You know, You'd ruin real tack if you did this, obviously. We're not we're not worried about that. This is a this is fantasy. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the tax hole waterproof. <laughs> okay, you're nice and clean. Alright, we'll take you outside then in that case. Now do I actually just before I uh, I don't really have any orbs. I haven't had any orbs practically for a couple of days. I just have been focusing so much on that dressage. Okay. Not, uh, not enough to make any epic taming orbs. I haven't seen any epic horses in a while though, so I'm not really worried about that to be honest. Right, Fire Lily, take you out here. So one of you guys mentioned that I can set the horse speed. And thank you so much because I didn't realize I could do this and it's the best thing ever. So thank you so much, that really, really, really helped because as you guys saw, when I try to just run around normally, I crash into everything. I'm not saying I'm not going to keep crashing into stuff, but at least now I can set the speed and we can just go with that speed. It's great. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, we'll go over here for a little bit um, and see if there's any horses over here worth capturing. Um, obviously, once we get to level 25, we can explore the area that like further on past uh, this horse here, uh, because obviously the area in front of us just beyond that tree line basically is locked to us, we can't go yet. Um, not unless we are VIP or we get to level 25, which hopefully we will do soon. Just gonna go ahead and capture this horse. I've, I haven't really captured a bunch of horses. I've, like, the last few days I've kind of mined and worked on that dressage. So, was hoping to have got more progress, but just that dressage kind of held me back a little bit. Okay, we'll sell you for some gold. But yeah, no, I I don't know how I'm going to get Black Pearls, to be quite honest, to be ready for the pets release, because I haven't managed to be a part of a social quest that has been successfully completed by the entire community. Like, if I get to 75, that's fine. I do get a reward, but I haven't got any Black Pearls. I haven't tried the cross country in a while. Maybe I'll start doing that again. Because I, I'm terrible at that cross country. <laughs> You've seen me riding around trying to, like, pick up apples. It's really even worse. It's fine if I'm on like the Steam version of this. I, I managed to do it because it's computer control, so I can't do it on my phone. But anyway, scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope so. Let me know. Bye.